you're traveling and if the seats of the plane or the train or the boat, whatever, has not ruined your back, you get to your destination and you have your pillow, which is good, but the bed is lumpy and bumpy and you wake up in the morning with a stiff, sore back. What do you do? Well, today I'm talking about that and I am giving you a warm up. I'm gonna be giving you stretches that you can do when you're out walking. I'm gonna be giving you a counter pain strategy, a posture tool, and we are gonna be doing all of that right now. Welcome, and if you're new to my channel, my name is Ashley Osier and I'm the posture specialist. If you are interested in improving your posture, decreasing pain, and enhancing your overall wellness, make sure to subscribe and click the bell so that you don't miss anything. So well, here I am on my vacation. This is absolutely gorgeous and I wanted to share it with you. If we don't have a comfortable bed and we're gonna be stiff in the morning or we're gonna have pain, we want to make sure that we have the stretches and the counter pain strategies that we need to make our back feel the best it can to have a great trip. So I am giving you guys these things. The first thing is going to be the posture tip. You guessed it, the posture tip. We wanna take that tennis ball and we want to put it right where that urinary bladder 42 is. And that's gonna help us to stay really lifted and we're going to stay in that three lock mountain like you should be doing 24 seven. If you have not seen that video, of course, you wanna check that out. I will put it up here somewhere and you guys can check that out after you finish this video. But I'll be talking about the three lock mountain throughout the video anyways. Is this gorgeous or what? See that chair right there? We're gonna take the ball, we've got a pillow, and we're gonna put it in urinary bladder 42. You're camping, you've got your camp chair, you've got your, what do we call this here? We've got your, um, your what do we call this? You're at your camp out area, you got your camp chair, you got your ball, you got your pillow. Let's do this. So you see what I'm doing is I'm using the tennis ball here in urinary bladder 42. This is part of the OccuPoint release technique that I created many years ago to support people dealing with chronic pain issues and helping to recover from injuries. And so what we do is we take the tennis ball and we put it into an OccuPressure point. I've got a couple of videos on OccuPoint release technique and a playlist that you guys can check out at the end of this video. But we take the ball and we put it into that point. It is in line with the high point of the rib. We draw a line back. We pull lateral to the center line of the spine so that it's on the outside of the ropey muscle band. And we just sit back into that point and we relax. It makes it very difficult to collapse when you're in the urinary bladder 42 point. It's fantastic to use while you're driving, while you're camping, while you're on a plane, wherever you're at. This is your posture tip, folks. You definitely want to check this out.
Now, if you want an overall warm up stretch that is complete, you're going to want the joint openers routine. And I'm going to put the link to that video at the end of this video. So make sure to check that out. Otherwise, we're going to be starting with these three stretches. The first one is really simple. Leg is straight out. We're lengthening through, staying in our three lock mountain, and we're just pressing forward. We're not pushing the chin forward or the head forward. We're not pushing the chest forward. We're staying nice and lifted and lengthened through that three lock mountain, and we're just shifting forward at the waist and at the hip, okay? Then we're going to bend that knee, just really, really nice, gently bend it, and then we'll come back into that straight leg. Make sure to breathe through all of these stretches. The next one is going to be rocking the hips side to side in an L hinge. When we bend, you wanna make sure that we're bending at the hips, so we're bending forward, we're not collapsing down into that bend, but nice L hinge, really nice lengthened L hinge as opposed to like a C hinge. Okay, we don't want anything like this. And you're just rocking those hips side to side. If you want a deeper stretch, just shift those hips back. The butt comes back a little bit, pressing back and you'll feel a nice deep hamstring stretch as well as a nice lengthening through the low back. The last stretch is called a squat stretch where you're standing and then you move down into as deep of a squat as you can. Really have the support of something in front of you. Go down to where you are comfortable. Make sure your spine is as lengthened and straight as possible. Again, we don't want collapsing. We want it to be nice and straight, especially if you have herniations or disc injuries of sore. But I do have disc injuries, and so I know how important it is to keep that spine nice and straight. And also staying zipped up so that we're bracing at the abdominal area and we are supporting and stabilizing that low back especially for my chronic pain sufferers or for those who have disc injuries and they're in recovery. Now let's get to those walking stretches. Scenario, you are on your walk, you're on your hike, and your back starts aching. You're like really sore and you are stiffening up. What am I gonna do? I don't have the tennis ball. I can be in my three lock mountain but it just doesn't seem to be working. I don't have any ibuprofen on me. I don't have any ice. I don't have my biofreeze, any of those topicals that I've talked about in my part one and two pain relief videos. I have some information on topicals and other things that you can utilize to help to manage pain. So you might wanna check those ones out. I will stream those up here and you can check those out when you're done with this video. But what do you do? So we're gonna be doing some stretches while you are walking. The first stretch that we're gonna be doing is a knee to chest. And it's just simply bringing the knee to chest. What I'm gonna add for you is to make sure that you ground through the leg that's not lifting. The one that's on the ground, you're going to tighten that glute and you're gonna push the hip forward as you lift the knee on the opposite leg. So it's pushing forward, pushing forward, pushing forward pushing forward so it's really getting really getting those glutes involved pushing forward pushing forward push 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 and so you're stretching back here but at the same time as you tighten the glute and you push it forward you're stretching through the groin which is where that psoas is that connects to the low back and it makes it really really tight when the psoas gets tight. So we want to try and do both at the same time if we can. Next one. Next is going to be opening up that knee. Opening up the knee. So we'll be walking, 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 walking. Forward, forward, 
forward, forward. Get your arms involved, okay? Help yourself with your balance. Forward, back, forward, back, okay? And we wanna make sure that when we do that, that we're nice and tight with our zipping up technique with that pelvic lock. You wanna make sure that you are as engaged as possible, okay, to support your low back when you do that. And what is that doing? That's opening up the hip. It's gonna open up the hip and it's also gonna stretch through the groin. And when you do it and you're walking forward, as in this video, when you're doing it and you're walking forward and back, it really helps to maintain that movement. Now, if you don't have that stability, don't worry about it. You can do it just standing. If you need to hold on to something and do it, then you can do that. Keep your arm up. Make sure you're in your three locks. Okay? The next one is going to be knee rolling in. Okay? We're going to be rounding the knee in, rounding the knee in, okay? So moving, 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 okay? Open, open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close. It's just a partner to the knee opening out and it helps to keep the hips open while you're walking. If any of these are not comfortable for you, don't do them. Only do what is right for, you guessed it, your body. Only do what's right for your body. Now the last one that we're doing is going to be the knee out and you're cradling. So it's just cradling up, cradling up, cradling, cradling. So how that works, now I don't have my tennis shoes on but I'm showing it to you also in this video here. Just the knee up, knee up, knee up, knee up, okay? And what that's doing is that's helping to open up the hips as well. Another way that you can do it is you can just hold on to something and you can drop down. Standing, shifting, knee open, and dropping down. Shifting, foot over the opposite knee, and we're dropping down. Remember, we're staying straight. Hip doesn't come out. We want to stay nice and straight. We drop down. We press that knee down. Open, cross, knee, and drop down. If you can balance and do it, you can drop down. Up, cross, and drop down. If you want to just practice this, you can do that. Get yourself nice and relaxed and shift up and switch sides. If you're traveling with a group, definitely get them involved. Show them some of these stretches and some of these things that you can do. If you know somebody who has a back pain or they're going on vacation, definitely tell them about this video so that they can benefit from these stretches posture tips, and using the OccuPoint release technique. I want to encourage you to go to my Instagram at The Posture Specialist and check out the things that I'm doing over there. And for my other social media platforms, some of the information that I have that might be useful for you, check those links out in the Dropbox down below. Those playlists that I was telling you about earlier, I'm going to be putting them up around me so that you can have access to those. I'll see you in the next video. Happy posturing.